Whoa, we're back. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, we are on the last day of the Daily Creative Challenge. Um, not only that, but today is going to be a really fun day because uh, I'm doing the stream right after this, too. So I'm, I'm doing the Daily Creative Challenge stream right now, right here. Welcome. Hi, I'm Sam Anderson. Where are you from? Where are you tuning in from? What's the weather like? Um, not only that, but I'm doing the Designing XD Challenge. No, not challenge. What am I, I'm getting all these mixed up, you know, streaming so much, it can be confusing. Uh, <laughs> but the XD stream, that's right after this. I'm doing that as well. So <laughs> I'll be here for half an hour, and then I'll hop off for like two minutes, and then I'll be right back <laughs> with, uh, with more XD. Isn't it thrilling? Uh, but the thing is, uh, hey everyone. Hey Elvin, and Jack, and Rosie. Richard, oh, thank you for tuning in. It, it means a lot to me, uh, especially on your valuable, valuable Friday. Uh, it's going to be a really fun one, uh, especially the stream later with, with XD. I'm, I'm, I'm really psyched. We're, we're going to do things that are musical and fun, um, and we're going to be hacking with prototyping in XD, uh, really just pushing what we can do in XD to the limits, hopefully. So um, you'll see more of that. Uh, in a bit, uh, in half an hour. So I, I really encourage you to stay for uh, the second stream, um, which will be with me. And I'll be wearing the same sweater, and I'll be, you know, it, the background will be different, but, it, you know, it's me just sitting in this room. <laughs> um, oh, you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome for the feedback, Prashant. Uh, Absolutely, that's what we're here for. Um, and so, if you're wondering what Prashant is, is talking about, we are doing the Daily Creative Challenge uh, through this week, and today's the last day. That doesn't mean it's too late to hop in, uh, because any day uh, is kind of just open for a new prompt. So, here it is. It's behance.net slash challenge slash xd. Um, how fun, right? It's, it's good. Uh, you don't really have to worry about this button anymore, uh, be, but... Click it if you would like. <laughs> You'll, you, would, uh, you might be alerted for future challenges if you click the button. Uh, but today is the last day, which means we are going to be using this last starter file here. Uh, consistency, that's the one, December 20th. It is December 20th. Jonathan from Peru, hello. Great to see you. D. Ross, hi. Um, oh, it's, it's Friday night in India, apparently. Uh, you know, they're, they're living in the future, as well as I, <laughs> many time zones. Uh, seem to be living in the future these days. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's dive in. That's where you can get your starter file. Uh, that's going to be helpful for, helpful to you. And then uh, that feedback that we were just mentioning, chat with the community. This link is going to take you to Discord. And let's hop over to Discord here. I have a lot of things open because we're doing a lot of things over the next hour, so stay tuned. Um, and this is Discord. Look at this. Oh, look. <laughs> uh, Aaron John just posted something uh, for, for day four for uh, physical wellness, which was yesterday. Uh, so should we look at it? Let's look at it. Um, but basically what we're doing is, is giving each other feedback by posting them, posting our work in here, and then uh, you know we're giving feedback on, on how these designs are. Um, whoa, look at that. Do you see that hover state? There's a lot of, there's just like some things moving on in there and everything, okay. Um, and so this is what Aaron John designed for uh, to get people uh, out and about. And I'm wondering, um, Aaron, if you're watching, uh, Aaron John, what your sentence was that you chose. Uh, maybe you posted it, no? Yeah, yeah, I'd be curious, what, what's the sentence that you're designing around? Because with each of, so share your work in Discord, uh, just like everyone else. Uh, I'm sorry, Richard, I don't have a Christmas hat. Um, I was thinking about wearing a green bow tie today, but I don't know, it was just overkill. It was a little overkill. <laughs> so, um, and I see that some other people are looking for feedback, so be sure to share in here and I'll, I'll get to giving you feedback later. And uh, other people will hopefully give you feedback as well. We have some active uh, members in here. So, um, our starter file, if we hop into here, so those other things that are open are, are for my next stream, uh, but uh, this is the sentence that I was just saying that I'd like to see when, when you are posting about your design. So how might we, and then you have your words that you pick for each, for each day. So 
Um, for this one, for day five, the last day, uh, we, we are doing nutritional wellness. And here's the one I chose. Of course, you are free to choose whatever words you'd like. You can even change them if you feel so inclined and inspired. So how might we incentivize top rated meals for indecisive people? Oh, someone just someone just messaged me on Discord. I'm going to mute my computer so that <laughs> we uh, we don't get those uh, sound bites interrupting us. So um, not not that you can't message me. Feel free to message me. Um, so we're going to be using we're going to be designing around this question uh, because those are the words that I chose out of my word bank. Um, so. I came up with three ideas uh, ahead of this. Um, so, hey, I, Ayla, is that how you say your name? A uh, Ayla Anderson, you have the same last name as me. So I, I feel like I've been seeing a lot of Andersons in the chat, <laughs> in the in specifically the Adobe Live chat recently. So uh, shout out to people with the last name Anderson, right? Yeah, uh, it's a good last name. Uh, we're not related, but I mean, we could be, who knows, right? So we have three ideas here. Um, that I, I came up with before the stream started, basically thinking about incentivizing top-rated meals for indecisive people. I'm an indecisive person, for sure, especially when it comes to meals. So I'm in this, in this way, I'm kind of designing for myself here, uh, which is something I encourage you to do. Uh, you, might have, you might have heard me say that in one of the other streams, uh, but designing for yourself kind of like gives you the leg up because uh, you don't have to do as much research into the type of person you're designing for because you're designing for you. Uh, I'm, I'm very familiar with this process because as a designer at Adobe, making XD, I'm designing with XD, therefore I am, in a way, a user type. So I'm also designing uh, uh, for myself in some capacity as well. Um, Elvin's, uh, I, yeah, if you send me a link, uh, I'll, check out, I'll check out your portfolio. Um, so, Okay. Okay, we have these three ideas here. I don't know what you're feeling. Oh, I didn't even talk about them yet. So social food. Uh, this app shows a stream of your photo of your friends' photos that they're eating of their food, uh, and it shows a stream of them. And the idea is that if people are posting photos of healthy food, it encourages via social dynamics because people are influenced by the behavior of other people. Um, it's actually a very strong behavioral dynamic. Uh, if we can get people posting about their healthy food choices, then we're kind of just improving people's uh, choices all around. Um, because if people see someone else make a choice, they're, and if they feel like some sort of connection to them, if they're a friend, they're so much more likely to make the same choice. Uh, and that can be used for evil and good, uh, of course. And that, the goal here with this one is to use it for good, right? By elevating the healthy choices. And then, Here's one I love. This is AR social menu. So the idea here is that you could take your phone and and scan a menu uh, that's in front of you if you're at if you're at a restaurant, right? And uh, and then you could see what everyone is if you if any of your friends have been to this restaurant before, what they got and if they liked it, as well as maybe seeing calorie information. So I'm I'm incentivizing top rated, um, indecisive because it might help you decide. Uh, and so, I mean, maybe they get to be healthy because they're seeing, you know, that calorie information. A lot of menus out there don't actually have that calorie information. And then grocery time inspiration. This app, uh, when you're at the grocery store, gives you ideas for things to put on your shopping list. And I also had an idea about making this social as well, since my other two ideas are social in a way. Like, this might actually be useful. Like, if you're at the grocery store, what if you could see what your friends are buying or putting on their list? And again, promoting those healthier decisions. Um, maybe, that's a good, yeah, I don't know. It, these, these are all valid ideas and I could design around any of these, but for today, I'm going to do this one. And so I encourage you to get wild with your ideas uh, when you do your challenge. And so with half of the, half of the stream left, let's, um, let's dive into actually making this a thing, making this a design. Um, of course, when you do this, get visual, show your ideas in a visual way. I don't have enough time to, to do that, but I did show that in the other streams, so I think you get the idea. Use emojis, draw, however you'd like to, to describe your ideas. Uh, that, that will help communicate if you're showing it to other people. And then we're going to just bundle this all up into one sentence. Uh, so let's say, uh, I'm going, I think we're going to do the AR social menu. Um, so AR 
So let's maybe maybe we'll just do social menu. The things in the bottom right are just the keystrokes I'm making. I'm actually going to turn that off. Um, I thought it would be helpful, but I'm also in that corner, so it's kind of awkward. Okay, social menu is in, we'll do an AR experience that um, shows, so shows mm, uh, AR, maybe menu, AR menu experience that shows you what friends or shows you, I'm working through this in real time. Are you proud of me? Okay. The the nutritional, nutritional value, nutritional and like maybe like social, I don't know, <laughs> value of of the items of, of menu items. This is a really complex sentence for, and who we're designing for, indecisive people, right? Indecisive people. Thanks, Autocorrect, for fixing my misspellings. Okay. Uh, social menu is an AR menu experience that shows you the nutritional slash social value of menu items for indecisive people. I guess that works. The whole middle part is kind of confusing, but I think you, you get the gist, right? Um, that helps just kind of solidify. This is what you're designing. And I, I found this picture that someone took of their food menu online. Uh, and uploaded it, <laughs> uh, and so I'm I'm going to use this um, because this is going to be like a menu that we're designing around. And since it's since it is an AR experience, we are going to be designing around like the camera feed as an experience. And again, um, you know the the design and implementation is important, but uh, make sure you really nail an idea first that you feel is actually solving the problem. Maybe run it by a friend or two and see what they think. Uh, you know, I think I think it goes a long way. Uh, okay, so so here we have a menu. I'm sure we've looked. This it's actually a pretty well designed menu. So props props to them. Look, it's pretty. It's got this floral background. It's it's got clear hierarchy in different sections. Also, that food looks delicious. Chocolate waffles. Oh my god, I want chocolate waffles. Can we get some uh, chocolate waffles in the Adobe Live Studio? Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice. I'm talking to no one else is in the studio. I'm I'm running the whole show. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, you know, sometimes it feels like I could just you know shout off screen and make a request, and then magical things will happen. Uh, but that's not the case, unfortunately. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna design around the camera feed. Uh, so. Usually how these apps work is that they'll have the camera feed and then you'll use like white text on top of the camera feed, something like that usually. Um, uh, and maybe you'll use like some shadows to uh, differentiate the, the text in your design, your app from the actual uh, experience, from the, from the menu, sorry, from the, okay. So I think, I think we'll need like a beginning. I think our app will have some sort of some sort of uh, you know start screen right before the actual camera opens up, and uh, it might. I guess we're gonna call it social menu, and we would probably have like a fancy logo and things, um, but I I don't have a fancy logo. I don't have enough time to de design a fancy logo. Um, if you would like to, uh, go for it. We're gonna do just a very basic logo for right now. Social menu, and maybe it's like. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's fine. Um, and then we'll have uh, ooh, this green and white is kind of slick. I'm kind of liking it. And we'll have like an action button at the bottom, right? Um, and this button maybe it has like a little bit of shadow too. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's nice. A good a good way to make your shadows is to double the blur of the Y. So if your Y is three, make the blur six. That's what those stand for. The B's for blur. Uh, if you wanted to do six for the Y, which is how much it's offset, then blur it by double that, 12. That's actually what Apple uses when they're doing their shadows. Okay, so we'll do that one. We'll do six and 12 for that gorgeous drop shadow, nice and soft, you know, soft is good for shadows. It's, it's very in right now. Okay, and then we'll do uh, scan menu, right? Because that's going to be the primary experience, okay and a little smaller, this text 
does not need to be so big. And maybe just slightly bolder, right? This is light, this is aileron. That's the typeface I'm using in the in the starter file. So you'll see that I've used that there. And maybe we'll do like semi-bold, yeah. Scan menu. Boom. And I imagine this app would have other features, uh, but for now, that's what we'll work with. And I'll group those together just because that's good in practice. And then um, it's going to go to our camera feed. And the first step will be like opening that camera. And maybe it's also like using the GPS to find and like referencing Yelp, right? Uh, for what is around you. Uh, so it actually would actually help like narrow down what restaurant you're in. And then presumably if other people are using this app, it would actually using machine vision and machine intelligence, artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, all those snazzy words, uh, it, it could actually learn what the menus of different restaurants look like, so even if your GPS location wasn't accurate enough, um, which oftentimes in like a city, it probably won't be. So um, we're in the camera feed. Uh, I just prototyped, prototype wired that one to that one. And then it's going to have like a moment of like scanning. So we could do some like fun, we could do some like fun scanning animation, right? Why not? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe like there's a we could we could kind of go like sci-fi with it, where there's like a, a line, a horizontal line going across. <laughs> I don't know. This might be kind of cheesy. A blue, maybe green. Green's gonna be the color of this app, right? Because it's nutrition and it's healthy, and like that, and maybe. It also has a green shadow, yeah, with no offset because I want it to be on both sides. Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Okay, and maybe not, maybe not so big. Let's go six. There we go. Okay, and it will start at the top and go to the bottom using auto animate, right? So we will do a time transition on this one. Just drag it out from the artboard, make this transition a time transition with the animation being auto animate. And, and then maybe we'll go back to this one. So it goes up and down. It goes down and then up. <laughs> okay. Let's try that. Let's wire that up, artboard to artboard. And it's just going to happen automatically. And let's see what it looks like. Boom, shoom. Whoa, it, it totally scans. It looks like a scanning, doesn't it? It totally does. Uh, you know, in today's world, it wouldn't be able to scan that quickly. It'd probably take a couple seconds, but maybe we'll slow it down just a tad. Yeah, 0.4. That's still really fast, but we'll get the idea. Yeah, that'd be good with sound effects, you know? Okay, so uh, it scans and then and then it's it's going to be like oh you're at it's going to maybe like actually show you like what's the name of restaurant can i get some help naming the restaurant it's going to uh <laughs> suggestions for and then i'm going to have the name of the restaurant so if i could get some suggestion names for a restaurant that would be super helpful uh, cuz i can't think of a restaurant name right now and then it's actually going to have like maybe these things that pop up on these like little pins that maybe like pop up on each item, right? Why not? So it's like the chocolate waffles. Let's use, let's use green again. Let's just go green all the way. Yeah, okay. Any, f any food suggestions yet? I know my, the chat I see is just a slightly out of sync from it's like 30 seconds behind real time okay we'll do that we'll do a slight border maybe just slightly darker boom awesome this is great and then this when I tap on it maybe I could see like the different things that people have gotten and are recommended right and then Kind of similar to what we designed yesterday. Perhaps I can just see the list instead of using the AR experience at at the bottom, right? Um, buzz time. That's not bad. Buzz time green. 
<laughs> Wendelin just said green. Maybe that's uh, is that the restaurant name or or Jam Cafe? Oh my God. Lee Zoe, uh, you win because jam is like my favorite word. So <laughs> Jam Cafe. Suggestions for Jam Cafe. Oh, that sounds so good. I love it. I love it. Don't you love it? Okay, perfect. And then maybe like. Maybe like the panna cotta, this one. Maybe that's like the best one. So that one's like starred, right? And we can make a star. No, we can't make a star next to yet. Um, <laughs> but you know, who knows? Maybe the future. Uh, okay, but but maybe you know we have a special indication of um, like this one being specially colored, or maybe it has like a. A dot on the inside maybe the, this is the best one it's like the recommendation right okay there we go quick bite that's a good one too I'm, I'm still I'm just all for quick jam cafe right now uh, I just I really like it I really like that one and then you could actually showcase like maybe the the calorie information down here right so let me grab this black text and reuse it again um, and I'll say like chocolate waffles and we could put in maybe a photo we can pull that in from Yelp I highly encourage you you make this visual we could do like a blurred background because why not that looks kind of cool right and then like recommended by three friends I do have to wrap up and get ready for my next stream uh, <laughs> it's gonna be right after this uh, but let's just finish this out so you get the idea. Uh, maybe, let's maybe make it not so bold, recommended by three friends. But maybe it's like in red, it's like two, maybe like 500 calories. And like, that's not good. So maybe it's like discouraging like that one. Um, you know, discouraging that one because it's so high calories. But again, it's recommended by friends. So it's letting, it's letting them make the choice there for for what they want to do and you could show you could put in a photo I don't have time to put in a photo right now but you could do that um, I also encourage let's let's do some auto animate so it actually just like pops up um, from here and we'll do a time transition again we'll do maybe like a slight delay 0.3 seconds auto animate ease out maybe let's do snap let's do snap okay Jack says 10 out of 10 would still eat the chocolate waffles. I might too. I might as well. <laughs> not gonna, not gonna lie. Okay, scan menu. We scan the menu. Boom. And the suggestions, it, it analyzes. It knows that you're at Jam Cafe and it sees well, what items you're looking at. Um, you know, that white dot actually looks like, because we're only showing one in the list, that white dot looks like almost as if it's what is being selected. So I'm actually going to move it to panic to chocolate waffles because it almost looks like hey like that's the one you're looking at and it will make it a little bit bigger too and then if I were to scroll let's say that's a list and I were to scroll to the next one then then this dot would get bigger right it would get bigger and it would add that white dot to show that this one's selected right boom maybe not that big and then the other one would go back to normal and we could auto animate between that. We would change the text, show that scrolling action, have a lot of fun with it, make it all prototype, share it in XD, and share it on Discord. Do you like this energy? Oh, look, look, there's more. There's more. Discord has changed since uh, <laughs> I last looked at it. Uh, thanks for sharing, uh, Prashant. So share it in Discord, we'll give you feedback, and then when you feel ready, you can share it on Behance. And when you, you can make a, you know a lovely image for it to tell your story show your sentence and your question how you got to this idea what were your what were your three other ideas or your two other ideas before you got to this one um, you know uh, upload that make sure you set you can set a title when you're finishing upload process go to discoverability then you do your keywords do XD daily challenge 
that'll be helpful because then you'll appear with everyone else with all the other daily challenges it's going to be a blast thank you all for participating uh, in this one last daily creative challenge uh, I'll be right back with more XD crazy hacking things I have a keyboard here uh, like a like a musical keyboard that I'm going to start hacking with and we're going to have a blast there will there will be more creative challenges in the future but if if you're if you're logging out at this point then I wish you happy holidays and I'll see you soon but for those that want to stick around I'll be right back with <laughs> with some really fun music making sound hacking prototyping magic so <laughs> uh, it'll only be a, f a few minutes away I have to switch some things on my end so uh, I'll see you there. Okay. Okay, everyone. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this and then I have to start the next stream So I'll be right back uh, See you guys. Bye. Bye